My name is Annalise, and today I'm going to show you some weird stuff I found at the store. So, so today we're making rabbit hole cupcakes. I have my rabbit hole cupcakes here, the kit. We have some yummy couture, pastries and cupcakes. Yeah, so let's get started. First step, we preheat the oven to 375 degrees. I'm no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so now we line the muffin pan with six liners. It's getting it all set here. Oh, I got tangled. Now we can <laughs> now we combine the cupcake mix with butter, water, and the eggs. If I could get this open, step two. We combine the cupcake mixture with water, eggs, and butter. Now we have the butter, which doesn't want to slide off. It's so weird. And here we have, I don't have the electric one, so I'm just using the squiggly. Now I have to mix it. Which is really, really hard. Now we put in two eggs. Egg one. We have it in there. And number two. like being on a food show. We can keep mixing so everything is mixed and ready. The eggs make it a little a little more softer which is better because cupcake mixture is actually really hard and tough. We keep stirring until the batter looks like this. We have to always make sure there's no cupcake mixture on the sides. So we stir it well. And now we're ready for the next step. The next step, if you ask, is pouring the cupcake mixture in to the liners. I forgot the name, I'm sorry. Pour the cupcake mixture into the liners slowly. You have to always make sure, in this one I have dots, right? And you can see in the second dot, the dot in the middle, where you'll pour the cupcake mixture because if you pour it above it, when the cupcake rises, it might sit down and it'll turn badly. Trust me, I've been there. First cupcake, should I put this over here? Put this over there, in one of the cups. Set this aside, so I can continue with the rest. Okay, here we go. We'll pour it down. Now that we have that, let's clean up the ridges, the edges. There are no paper towels here. Thanks a lot. To clean up the edges. I'm a beginner at this just like you, so don't worry if there's cupcake mixtures on the side. It's no big deal. You just gotta make sure you clean them all and make sure everything is out and in place. So you have your beautiful cupcakes with a delicious mixture that are ready to go in the oven. So now that the cupcake mixture is all set in the liners, we're ready to put them in the oven. So 
Let's go ahead and fold in the oven. And now, we set the pans. I'm a new baker, I'm so sorry. Okay. Now we're all set. We wait 16 to 18 minutes. That's what the box says, but I prefer, preferably wait 10 minutes. You can wait the 16 to 18 minutes. That's just depending on your oven and the type, you know. For me, I'll just keep on checking on them when it hits 10 minutes and then we'll see the result. the butter and now I'll be back in now that the butter is light and fluffy I added the powdered sugar now we add the frosting I think this is the frosting mixture we add it so it's nice and blue. Okay. Now we stir. And now we add the milk two teaspoons of milk just like this now we stir okay after we have our ending result here we have the frosting here we have the frosting now that that's done we set it aside in the box it shows kind of like these the grass which will be the coconut shaving the kit offers us we'll put them it says to put them in a plastic bag in a sandwich bag we put them in and this green dye that comes with it you put it into with the coconut shaving it kind of looks like grass already Put it in, green dye. We seal it. And now we shake it. And here we start seeing kind of like how those coconut shavings start turning into the grass. It, it looks like grass, identical. I think the cupcakes are ready. We are going to, I'm going to give an example to you guys on how to cut and make the body for the bunny. First, you have to cut it, cut the circle in the middle. Well, the marshmallow in the middle. Making sure it's right. Then, you're going to cut it into a semicircle. And this is going to make the legs the little bunny legs now for the body because the box shows us a body the body you're gonna cut it in a diagonal line a diagonal line between the marshmallow and you see it like this and it shows the diagonal line and here we have the body and the small legs. And now we're ready to decorate. The frosting is for the base. Now, let me add another coat. 
of frosting just in case so the coconut shavings won't slip it's up to you how much frosting you want to put into it it's at each at their own risk and taste so chop. here's the bunny's grass Both scissors out of the way. We have the grass. Now we have the bunny's body. The bunny getting into his rabbit hole, the body. And, oh, sorry, my fingers are green. Now, Now we have the two little legs of the bunny getting into his rabbit hole. You can make a design in the bunny rabbits. Let me just switch these around. No, I'll just keep this one. Okay. And so now we get to put the pink in. I'm sorry, a leg fell. It's okay. So, I added the little tail, which is the bunny tails. Now we add a big dot, so that'll be the little, like, bunny paw. You add the big dot, and you add three small dots. One, two, and three. And now we add the big one. and the little one. This one doesn't want to let go. The third one. And here we have the little rabbit hole cupcake. Tutorial, 10 easy steps or more. If you want, I think the kit brings like the surrounding of it where you have little carrots so you can so it looks more realistic of, realistic of the bunny going down so yeah kind of like this you can put it if you want to you don't have to put it it just depends on the little plate you put on the bottom so thank you for watching and this is my tutorial peace oh my god yeah.